Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to make this Arduino powered frequency counter. And as you can see, there's nothing really special here. We've got a Nano, a 16 by 2 LCD screen, and a pot to adjust the uh, contrast. If you don't know how to hook this up to your Arduino, I will go over it uh, kind of quick. VSS goes to ground. VDD goes to plus 5 volts. V0 goes to the center or wiper of your potentiometer. Okay, RW goes to D4. No, that's RS. RS goes to D4. RW goes to ground. E, your enable, goes to D6. There's nothing on D01 two and three on the screen when we get up to d4 it goes to digital nine d5 goes to digital 10 d6 goes to digital 11 and d7 goes to digital 13 uh, the one with marked with the A is your anode that goes to plus 5 volts. K is the cathode. That goes to your ground. Then we've taken a ground here and a plus 5 volts here. And of course you need a plus 5 volts and a ground there. So that's it. That's the setup for this. Everything else is in software. But we need a frequency generator. So... I whipped one together here from a 555 timer. And I will go over that with you real quick here. Light. All right. I got this in another video and I'll link to it uh, down below. But just go over this real quick with you. Pin one goes to ground. Pin two goes to pin 6 and it also goes to a capacitor going to ground this is a 103 a 10 nanofarad capacitor pin 3 is your output I've got it going with an LED here and also this is the where we're going to hook into our frequency counter with this red wire pin 4 goes to plus 5 volts you don't want that to drop low it'll reset the chip pin 5 has a hundred uh, nano capacitor going to ground and then pin six seven and eight have this little potentiometer on it and eight also goes to plus these over here just transfer the ground and the uh, plus five volts from one side to another let me zoom out here bring this in you can use any sort, I mean, if you have your own uh, signal generator, you're, you know, you can use it, it's no problem. So you always want to make sure that your grounds are hooked together. And then we'll take our signal wire, and it plugs into digital pin 8. Now, the way I've got this tuned with the 10 nanofarad, the 100 uh, nanofarad capacitors, this is going to output a square wave right around 1 kilohertz. So when we power it up, you're not going to be able to see the uh, LED blinking because it's going to be blinking too fast for your eyes, but you will see the frequency counter display the frequency. All right, let's go over the PC and have a look at the code. It's simpler than you can imagine, believe me. Alrighty, let's take a look at the code. This is the Arduino powered frequency counter. And so we'll note here, if and she don't work, make sure all the grounds are common. So if you build that little 555 square wave generator to use with your frequency counter, make sure you hook up the grounds. If you don't, you're not going to get anything. Only one include that is the liquid crystal library and then we define the pins for the liquid crystal and then we're going to declare a constant integer pulse pin and that's where our signal is going to come in from the 555 to the Arduino 
then we need a few variables here an integer called pulse high and that will be the high time in or microseconds another integer called pulse low and that will be the low part of the wave the bottom part of the square wave again in microseconds let me fix that then we're going to have a float that is a variable with decimal point called pulse total and that's the total of our high and low times and a float called frequency which is the inverse of our pulse total all right now for our setup we need to turn the pulse pin to input then we just have a little bit of LED stuff going on here we're going to activate the LCD 16 row 16 columns two rows set the cursor in the upper left give it a little splash screen Arduino powered down to the next line frequency counter then we're going to wait for two seconds all right now we come down here to the main loop of our program I'm going to reset the cursor and print out frequency is then we're going to set the cursor down to the next line and we're going to clear that line by printing out all those spaces now here's where we get into actually reading the frequency our pulse high will be pulse in on the pulse pin and we're looking for the high part or the rising edge then our pulse low will begin to be pulse in on the pulse pin pin number eight low signal logic zero and we have the low time now our pulse total is easy enough pulse high plus pulse low and here's where you figure out the frequency it is the inverse of pulse total which are in microseconds which are millions so we divide 1 million by pulse total and we convert it to Hertz or cycles per second then we drop down to the second line we print out frequency that is our variable that we just did with our little conversion a space and then Hertz because we always want to tell people what unit we're talking in delay 500 milliseconds and start it all again see I mean what is this one two three four the actual program that does the calculation is one two three four it's four lines and then you have four lines of print here four lines of print here so the whole program is basically 12 lines and two-thirds of it is taken up by printing stuff to the LCD so it doesn't get much easier than that all right let's go have a look all right we ready to see this thing in action gonna plug in our frequency counter first we get our welcome message there we go Arduino powered frequency counter frequency is oh, if you hope you can see that it says infinite Hertz I will right, zoom in a little bit and now I'm going to power up our little square wave generator And there you see we're reading 993 Hertz let me zoom out a little so you can see what I'm doing I'm gonna adjust this pot right here all the way one way we get about 1550 Hertz or 1 1.5 kilohertz 
And if I slow it down all the way this way, we get down to 350 hertz, 220. Okay, about 280 is as low as we can go. So that's a pretty wide sweep from 280 hertz to 1.5 kilohertz. Pretty cool, right? Well, now you know how to do it. Make one, see what kind of frequencies uh, different things have. It's a useful tool. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment and uh, share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't worry, I'll wait right here. Did you click it yet? Okay, go ahead, click it. Subscribe.